Testing microphone, one, two. Trying to capture the game, three, four. Hello, game. There we go. Huh, Carl von Clausewitz, the guy that is actually uh, named for the engine over here. Hi there, Nicodemus. How's it going, man? We're just gonna do uh, a new campaign before Imperator Rome because I didn't feel like playing something else than this. And somebody suggested this to me couple weeks or even a month back. I never really thought about it to put it in the straw poll, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Because it sounds like fun. So, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to Europa Universalis 4, and welcome back... Ah, well, no, welcome back. Welcome to a new campaign. We're gonna start in the uh, British Isles again. And uh, somebody told me you could actually uh, form Scotland and still do all the lines reversed, which basically requires you to have France as a vassal, and I was like, yeah, okay, that sounds like fun. Spring is almost here, you had your first ice cream for the season. Uh, nice. Sounds like fun. I also enjoyed a couple of spring uh, days already. But it's uh, the second week of the uh, Eastern holiday here is going to be like 20 degrees Celsius from uh, Thursday on. So uh, we're going to have a good weekend, me and the girlfriend. Not sure yet what we'll do, but we'll enjoy the spring weather also. Anyway, uh, let's uh, start this one. I think we uh, already did a campaign for like island and uh, the Isle of Man and whatever for the uh, old British DLC, but we never did the Isles. I remember back in the day when we were doing pre-release for this uh, whatever it was called DLC, don't even remember, and I was like, yeah, the Isles. They always vanish like a couple of years into the... because uh, yeah. I think Scotland can actually start integrating the Isles faster than 1454 or whatever. Ah, uh, 1449 I mean. So usually by 1450 they're gone. So welcome to the Isles, folks. 7 degrees right now. Yeah, well, believe it or not, Naked Yamas, uh, it's actually 15 or 17 degrees outside now, but it actually froze like minus 3 or 4 Celsius. All, all the... Uh, the fruit uh, farmers in the area actually had to uh, light their uh, fires into the uh, fruit gardens to actually prevent the uh, flowers that form the fruits to freeze over. So, yeah. They call it in Belgium April's... Uh, April's... Well, I don't know how to exactly... Uh, Translate that uh, Dutch word into uh, English, but basically it's like so volatile the weather in April here in Belgium that you can have 20 degrees one day and like zero degrees the other at night. So, yeah. Oh well. We're gonna do the usual here on the Isles, so welcome back to the Isles. And, uh. It's. We start with McDonald. Wait, what? Oh, we go with McDonald here. I want a Big Mac army now. It's not... you get the idea. Anyways, uh, the air is not that bad. We're 41, so in theory we could... Uh, disinherit this guy and hope for a daughter, but anyways... M McDonald, eh? Okay. So we're a lordship. Okay. Ideas. Goal? <laughs> well, you could add it uh, and sign. The goal is to uh, get free from Scotland, form Scotland, and then do the old alliance reversed achievement. So basically, the Isles into Scotland into uh, vassalizing France. We got Highlander ideas. So, uh, freedom! 
Boom! We're gonna do against, well, not England, but Scotland. Ironically enough. Because we're a vassal of Scotland. Wait, what? Garrison size? 25%? We got garrison size. Yes! That is definitely gonna help winning wars. Oh my god. The Scots should roll over and die already because we got garrison size. Woohoo! Yeah, right. Uh, you live in Finland, just a bit side of the Arctic Circle? Oh, you mean you're one of the uh, Sami peoples? Finland, just a bit south of the Arctic Circle. Eh, well, I don't know. We play the Sami horde over here somewhere. One of the provinces over here is still uh, Sami. You mean Kajanaland? Oh, well, whatever. It was pretty uh, weird, actually, seeing that... Uh, Fruit farmers have to drive with, with with fire baskets in all the fruit farms while it's now 17 degrees outside. Anyways, we have uh, a grand total of four force limit. Yay me! We are of course the vassals because yeah, otherwise what's the fun in it? And uh, we have more than one province, right? Yeah, so we can actually do estates. Yay me! So, how, how much development does the Isles even have? Wait, we have six development and two provinces. So, basically, we start with two, two three development islands. Okay, sure. Okay. Ah, but doesn't the Isle of Man also have a, a core from the Isles? I could have sworn they did, but it's probably something like if, if revolts spring up in man that 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 they add a core of the isles on man right because it's highlander culture i think the isles is the main tag for uh highlander culture these days not gildam anymore whatever it's called it's actually the isles oh anyway, you have a core on man yeah that's what i thought also but but nope not anymore maybe it's by event who knows I don't know. Anyways, we got uh, boats. What the hell do I do with boats? <laughs> boats. Outlook's using boats. This is gonna be good. Okay, well, let's boat. Uh, we're gonna give this to the... Uh, to the mobility, I guess. Well, can we... Uh, can we actually do 30? No. Oh, yeah, we do start at uh, 30%. Oh, okay, then. There. 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 And there. Seek support and blah blah blah. Yeah, well. Hmm. Sure. Give it to the clergy then. There. And uh seek that support, I guess. There, eighty percent. Give me the uh, free admin. And the burgers, yeah, well, you can wait. <laughs> Burger estates in a nation led by McDonald. I can see the irony in that. <laughs> so what the hell do we do? <laughs> Not much except I like to hear and maybe uh, push over there. Wait, oh yeah, that's an end node. We can't push. Nope. Can I even put my, my guy in any... Is anything even in range? I sincerely doubt it. Ah! Oh, okay. Wait, did I see elephant? Elephant. <laughs> I was like, what? Elephant trade? Okay, diplomacy, folks. Uh, we always take what we get. So let's see. Who hates Scotland? Um, nobody. Not oh, great. Oh, this is gonna be good. This is gonna be good. We're gonna have to do an independence war against Scotland and allies without support. Yay me! Just great. Just my luck. 
the overlord of our nation actually uh, <laughs> has no enemies. Okay. Hey, Scotland. Uh, um, I mean, uh, oh well. Just bloody great. Just, just great. I mean, what the hell am I supposed to do? I can't win versus Scotland on my own. Well, maybe we could defending the uh, the Isles if I build it. Oh my God! What the hell do I even do now? Oh well, that's a sign. Some interesting nations. <laughs> it's always the bloody same here. Starts the game as a vassal, and the Overlord has, of course, not a single rival. We could uh, ask support independence from. Typical. Uh, well, no, maybe the Danes, because, yeah, everybody, uh, well, that should be, uh, no, well, maybe Brittany also, who knows, maybe Brittany might get involved. I mean, we have fast food McDonald here, I don't know if she likes it. So, sure, let's go. Scotland with Desmond, just great. Uh... What? Our overlord Scotland decided to grant us their... What? That's why, uh... So, so wait, Scotland has a, a core over... I didn't even know you could give a core! What? What in the nine bloody hells? That's why uh, the island of man didn't have a core. I knew you could give claims to vassals, but cores? <laughs> okay. Whatever. That's so weird. So Scotland says, "Yeah, this is not this is not true Scottish terrain." So the vassal were actually gonna integrate. Yeah, you can have it. Did 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 Scotland actually get like I don't know how this worked? Grand court. Yeah, but I never. I thought it would only worked for uh, vassals chat. I mean for claims. What do I know? Oh, nobody is bloody... What do I even do? Scotland and Livonian order? Okay. Sure. Oh! Wait, what? <laughs> what is this game about? Ah, oh, this this is starting to shape up real nicely. This is just going great. Scotland allying the two holy orders in the Baltic Three node, the Livonian order and the Teutons. France is also backing them and an Irishman. Yep, this this is gonna be great. What? Aragon allied. What is going on in this game? Aragon allying... Okay. What? Our overlords... What? Wait, 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 what? And I was... I was fabricating a claim on that derp, you... Derp overlord? Why is this Scotland actually giving all the claims to me? He can he can declare that. Thanks, Overlord. So yeah, hey, it's uh, hey, Overlord. This is uh, my vital interest. It is so vital. Yeah, I w please feed me all that. It doesn't really matter. Overlords. It automatic. What? Oh, great. <laughs> France allying the steel. France allying the Scots. What's next? Huh. 
Oh yeah, I know, and sign the alliance between uh, France. But knowing my luck, surrender of Maine won't even fire. Because reasons. The thing is, Ensign, I will be dragged into the war, and I don't have support independence, so I can't declare the independence war. So, yeah. Maybe I could use message settings for that. Can I? So wait, if I see the surrender of Maine firing, we got a day until, uh, we got a day until France actually... Wait a minute. Would I? Is it? Is it? I keep on getting confused by the surrender of Maine. It's France declaring on England, right? Not vice versa. So if France declares on England, he will take a day to actually call in Scotland, and then we, and the moment he says, "Yeah, let's go to war," we could declare our independence, right? Is it England declaring on France? Really, man? I always get confused. I'm pretty sure that, that, that the event actually says time to teach them how to war. So, is it not France declaring on... Oh. It's a French defensive war? Okay, okay, okay. Thanks, chat. If it's a French defensive war, then the uh, call to arms will be sent the moment the event fires, right? So, I gotta keep a diplomat active here. I sincerely doubt... It's actually uh, gonna work like that. I think, I think it's immediately gonna drag me into war here. But yeah, that's not too bad because if uh, the English defeat the Scots, they might actually release us, right? They can choose. Oh yeah, okay, that makes sense. That makes sense for you, Dave. Right? Up. Uh, hello. That's as I expected. I cannot do anything about it. I cannot do anything about it. Oh well. La 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 la. Yeah, I'm not gonna help you out. <laughs> yeah, but there's no, there's nowhere bloody safe in this. Uh... Oh, you gods! I, is anybody? <sighs> I, I can't get support independence. The Scottish have no rivals, so nobody. <laughs> oh damn you! Yeah, now what? That works, your boats, you derp! Hey, look at that, chat! I forgot! I didn't forget my boats! Oh, I feel so proud now. I feel so proud. This was actually great. Hmm. We did it. You might be able to get the liberty desire. I sincerely doubt that, man. But hey, who's to say? You might be right. So let's plan this campaign ahead a little. Um, if I get independent, the Scots have no rivals, so nobody has a bonus to actually ally me. I suppose we could hit Ireland, but yeah, I should be doing that ASAP. So any claim we can get on the bloody Irish is a good one. Ah, uh, okay, we compute. Can I actually claim this one also? Okay, this, <laughs> this the English are already smacking my overload around. <laughs> it's historical, I suppose, that the Scottish nobles actually, when at war with England, they just say, Meh, let's turn around, let's leave the heavy infantry uh, Highlanders to their bloody fates. Let's revolt! Choose the side of the English. <laughs> uh. 
Sounds historical. As long as I don't get bloody naval invaded, we should be a okay. Wait, the rebels won't siege up my land, right? You call that a general? Well, at least he's fast. The Liberty Desire... Zero. Settle. Settle Liberty Desire. Not my... <laughs> hey, get out! Uh-oh. Let's uh, do a tactical boat. Uh... 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 uh, uh. Get out. Wait, what? Why can you still walk there? What the hell? Wait a minute, what? Ah, there we go. It was like, wait, what? I don't know shit about boats, but I do know they work like that. Uh, right. No, he wasn't going to Inverness chat. He was actually invading me. Where's the bloody navy? Wait, what? Where are they? Scotland dishonored. Okay. Oh yeah, sure, English nobles, your betrayal. The English are just saying, meh, we won't give you more land, you stupid Scottish nobles. Instead of, uh, we don't need your aid, we'll just smack you around. Come on, English. I feel so very, very, uh, friendly towards you. Please release me. Please release me, let me go. Or oh, whatever. How did that song go again? Stupid dumb ass AI. L look at this. Oh, yeah. Let's stand on the uh, Lodian fort that has 28 supply limit with our entire bloody army. <sighs> Boy, will I be glad when Imperator Rome comes out. At least there we uh, No. Shut up. Yep. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, no, you don't. Hi there, Marco. What are you doing in E4 if you still play it? Yeah, get out of here, you stupid English. Go siege up my overlord. Ah! Seems I was ranting. Yeah, but just look at this! When I was playing, like, like over here... In Caravan, we saw uh, Aragon declaring on my ally Tony, and uh, the Pope and, and Siena or whoever joined. What did Aragon do? Normally, you would expect them to naval invade with the help of Naples. We've seen that happen in other patches. But what did they do in my uh, Caravan game? They placed all of their troops, like 50k, on the Maria Fort. All of them. Like the entire enemy force was standing on one province, sieging it up. <laughs> and, and they even naval invaded more on top of them. I was like, what? <laughs> Dumb fuck AI. Boy, am I glad that the old AI programmer for this game is actually making the AI for uh, Imperator Rome. Well, he's head of it. <laughs> Thank you. 
You don't think they will squeeze the cancel subject in? Yeah, but how the hell am I gonna be independent then? There is no way I can get Liberty Desire because Scotland does not have any rivals. <laughs> uh, well, maybe if they get killed a bit. Wait, oh, just look at that. In theory, Scotland could get the fort back before these guys actually kick him off. Because that stupid AI is just d n not... Oh. Must be me, I guess. No, oh, no, they got a walls breach. They got a walls breach. But don't get me wrong, Marco, I'm still enjoying the game. And I won't go back to older patches. Because, yeah, reasons. But it's a little bit sad to see that uh, AI is still... I mean, they could at least program the AI to only siege the fort with minimal forces and then guard the siege. You could see that in other patches, but in this patch it's like, yeah, storm it with all we got. Don't know why. I think it's always a problem of AI scripts overriding other AI scripts when the AI is actually being forced to do a behavior due to new AI scripts, if you get what I mean. It has butterfly effect. Any change to the code, it has butterfly effect on other parts of the code. Causes a tornado on the tornado on the other side of the and then you get this stuff. Oh well. If they now smack the Scots around, do we let the English in or not? Eh. Well, I could ask access from Norway, maybe go hide over there. I, I don't wanna lose my bloody army here. Oh, wait a minute. I can't get out. <laughs> I can't get out because it's occupied by rebels. So wait. This is something I never really checked. If if you if an overlord has part of the strait, and if a subject has part of the strait, if both of them are unoccupied, would I be able to cross? Or does it count as different sides that... How would it work? If, if, if the English are blockading it, would I be able to cross if it's unseeded? I don't know. Hmm. Who's to say, really? Well, we got our claims. If both are in the war, you would be able to... No. Oh, I need to start improving with some folks. <laughs> Who would even ally me after this? Maybe some stupid... Hmm... Okay, who is the best protected guy here? Leinster and Offaly. Offaly, Offaly. Hmm. Planning ahead. Hmm. How are you in Denmark, eh? Oh, okay. Sure. It might be a bad idea. This was just role playing. This might be our only allies in here. Come on. Oh, yeah, we cannot unflag our own cores. That's right. And who were you allies to? Leanster, eh? Why not? We need some allies. Place your bets. I bet the Scots will re- Never mind. Wait, why are you not wiping off these guys? You derps? Um. Um. Go away! <laughs> <laughs> Go wipe out my overlord, not me! You idiots! No! <laughs> I can't get out! <sighs> yes. 
I can't get out! Sod off, you derps! Uh, uh. I, I don't even know. Uh, is there actually a, three, a 10 to 1 rule for ships also? Oh well, we're just gonna have to live with uh, getting wiped. There is none, right? Oh, okay. Oh well, fine. Have fun, Scott. English. Oh well, an AI is not scripted. Why is he not knocking him off? You may wonder, because the AI, the AI is scripted not to sh shove everybody uh, from a siege until he's positive war score, uh, positive siege chance, which kind of is stupid. They could have wiped them out. See? 7% and they actually go for it. Wait. What? What the hell was that? Okay, come on. Hey, AI. Hello. Yeah, now he's going for it. Bye, Overlord. Okay, okay, okay. Can I get some blesser? I'm gonna take uh, a drink here. L let's. What would the odds be that the English actually set us free? You say hi. I see. How high? Okay. They didn't. Great. Ah, oh, yeah, you wouldn't be able to make rivals. China's right. <laughs> oh! Yay, me. They're not free. <laughs> Um, what would happen if peasants act? No, it's only pretenders that would set me free, right? Now oh, what the hell? Oh, well, at least we don't have an army to pay for anymore, I mean, why not? Oh, man. This is like the worst possible start. My overlord has no rivals, nobody hates the Scots, and whatever. This is uh, kind of pointless. Hey, we are the real... We are the real deal here. So, uh, what are the odds that the English would support us, I wonder now? Just to say. Uh, maybe, I, yeah, maybe I should just go and kick some ass on my overlord. Because reasons, they seem to be in a lot of debt. Let's see. Oh, wait. What? Why does my overload not show? Oh, four loans, eh? Uh, how long, by the way, is the truce with my overlord? Ah, uh, none. Oh, okay, we could declare our independence on our own now. Hmm. Yeah, well, but we were a little bit of a... Uh... Okay, and how much boats do they have? We might actually uh, make some boats. We could just sit 
on uh, on, on our islands, get enough war score over uh, time, and, and then just get our independence. Scotland has no boats. Hmm. Uh, okay, what, what is this chat all about? Build some ship, Marco says, and declared on him. Ten Karaks, I, uh, I don't know. I, I still get the feeling boats are going to be of no use. Uh, we still have the Livonian Order and uh, the Teutons. Well, they might actually get into a war over Danzig. We'll see. Scotland might get involved, and if they ship off... Yeah, but wait, then I would actually be in the war. I cannot even declare my fracking independence because we got no support. I mean, during the war. We can't do it. Derp. <sighs> ah, building ships aren't very hard. I, I don't... Wait, what? I was going to say declare on uh, the two times. No. Yeah, declaring on Moldavia. Okay. On uh, uh, Crimea. Sure. The boats are the best. Uh, okay, fine. I'll look it up. Me and boats, man. What can I say? I got 7k hours in this game. I never build bloody boats. Never, ever. But in a situation like this... Ah, well, fine. We don't restart in here, Free Dave Brown, unless I get seriously annoyed. <sighs> but yeah, make boats, he says. With what? With what bloody... Oh, well. With what bloody sailors? They added sailors to the game and I just can't do it. Wait, what? Oh, yeah. The Scots are actually allied to the Danes. Yeah, we do make boats, chat. But just not... No. Oh, well. <sighs> Develop the dip. I, I am gonna wait until Renaissance, Marco, for obvious reasons. Hope you can understand. I don't know why. Well, maybe they will set me free. That's no problem, Marco. You're all right. Like, like I don't know, a couple of Karaks, like two, three, or four, might be enough to get our independence here. It might, because yeah, they will never be able to cross because uh, all the allies from Scotland and Scotland don't have a, don't have any heavies, and they might get smacked around by the by the uh, the Danes right now. If only we had some liberty desire, we could actually declare it. But nah, -uh. ah, well. Yeah, we're gonna have to declare our independence, so what's the point of getting, uh... What's the point? But, yeah. What I could do is just develop my own bloody land until we got enough liberty desire. After the Renaissance spawns, we might exactly do that. Well, who's to say? Maybe the bloody, uh... Maybe the Danes would set me free. Because, yeah, they don't have any interest on this land, right? Yeah, set me free, Danes! Please release me, let me go. Maybe get our tech before the Renaissance. Come on! Release me! Ten to one, they won't. Yeah, okay. Um. Is it a militarist? No. Does he desire my land? No. No. Oh, okay. Good chance he releases me then. Do you actually need to occupy the capital of the vassal to uh, release him? Huh. I don't know. Probably. No, you say. Okay. 
Okay. Oh. They still haven't done it, have they? Oh! Hey, Denmark! I feel so friendly towards you, buddy. The, Dan the Scots are oppressing us. I will promise you... I don't know what. You might accept it. And where's the Renaissance? Hey, Renaissance, did I miss it? Nope. Um... It's already two years late. La 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 la. And still, my uh, overlord has no vassals, nobody that actually would love us, and then blah blah blah. How are the uh, English feeling about us? Nobody is even remotely in the slightest interested in supporting our independence, so yay! What the hell is going on over here? What? Why is that constantly... Oh. Never mind. Muscovy has announced Denmark. Hmm. Hey, I'm threatened by Denmark. Nope. <sighs> what do I even do with these guys? Uh, siege? Blah blah blah? No, we could claim our overload, right? So much fun playing as a vassal. I'm gonna get so integrated. Oh well, the Renaissance is here. And uh, Tyrone became a vassal of England. Wait a minute. Open a pop up for that, please. Where did that cancel? Who are England's rivals? Ah, uh, England just allied Castile or whatever. Aragon. And Portugal, so the Danes, the French, Burgundy. Yeah, that's not too bad. It's really not too bad. If we actually get a border, we might actually ally everybody and their bloody mother. So sure. Um I might have to start developing here. So yeah, this is coastline, coastline. Uh, of course it's coastline, you derp. Oh well. Let's uh, develop, I guess. There, 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 there. And uh, is there anything else we can do to improve? No. Hmm. Uh, Oh well. Five is not really that. Could use some manpower and force them at also, I guess, so there. <laughs> Still no liberty desire. I, I, how does exactly does it work again? That liberty desire. Why don't I get any liberty desire if I develop my own land? What? Am I still too tiny? Oh well. <coughs> oh, let's see. Wait, what? We came five a month. Okay. Oh well, at least we're making good money now.
build an army, there is no point. Why would I build an army? You can't even I cannot even declare our independence. Because uh reasons. I, I should be building a fleet. I need some money first, chat. And some development. Uh, I'm better off building a couple of heavies than building an army, chat. Because that is going to win me my independence faster, the boats, than, than actually sieging up Scotland. In an independence war, the, uh, the war goal is defending your capital, so they can't reach me. They, they can't reach me, right? Uh -oh! Let's build those heavies. Should have done that earlier on because now we, we actually might not be in time. Oh, I don't have the bloody sailors. Come on. <laughs> How am I so even supposed? To? Oh. Oh well. Oh well. What? Oh. oh! Why didn't I check that? Scotland has cores over here, so that I will be integrated next month. Derp! I didn't know that. <laughs> Whoops! <sighs> I'm such a derp. So developing doesn't even work. Yeah, well, that's a critical error on my part. I didn't even know that. But we could still declare our independence. But, yeah, but, we don't have a, a heavy yet. And this fleet, ah, shoot, I should have built that heavy earlier on. That's, that's, that's the mistake of the run already. You need an army? Chat, I'm gonna be integrated next month. What point is an army? <laughs> I, I can't even... Oh, well. Whatever. We'll build an army and just declare the war. There's nothing else I can do. I can't do anything. Uh, except declaring right now. Wait, what? Oh, that's good. That's great. It's only me and the Scots. Yeah, cup one. Oh boy. <coughs> I should probably make mercs instead of uh, regulars here. Hmm. Oh, well. <sighs> eh. Let me see. So what are we up against now? Six thousand, eh? Hmm. Hey, who likes us now? Nobody. Ooh. All the Irish love us. Oh, great. So, hey. Well, Brittany, Brittany is getting uh, kicked by France. No, oh, Provence. Oh, well, let's improve with Brittany. Might be a good ally. Can't do a lot of development anymore. Now, oh. I 
Makes it into 12. Good. Wait, what? It was 4... Wait, what? It was 40 of 10 before, and now it's 35 of 12. What gives, game? So... Forced them. Uh, do we have? Ah, great. Ah, uh, it's tempting to actually uh, still. They only got six, right? Yeah. Mm. Oh, bankruptcy strategies while going vassal is so. And because negative stability. I don't wanna... I, I just can't do this, 8 mercs. Well, we could, but... Eh. If we delay the Scots long enough b by using the boats, it seems like, like he's just not interested in undocking his fleet, which is kind of weird. Why is he not interested? Uh -huh. hmm. uh, maybe I should match his force level before I actually start building the normals. Because this might be taking too long. Well, wait a minute. Could it be that the Scottish troops are not in the homeland? They did some wars. Maybe they are, I don't know, somewhere over there, black flagged. Why are they not invading me? That's the point. I haven't seen... Do I dare? You saw at least four of them. Okay, they got six. Yeah, I know the boat does not let them invade. I was just wondering if they're actually over here, because normally they would be standing on Sutherland or Inverness to actually, uh, or Argyle, to actually invade me, right? But it doesn't look like they're doing it. His fleet will wake up. Yeah, his fleet seems to be derping out. Look at that. Waiting on fleet morale? It's been months since the start of the war. I bet these fleets are still mud balled and it's just derping out. For some weird reasons. Oh well. I'm just gonna keep on making heavy, uh. Keep on making normals. Why not? I don't have money for cavalry. We just don't. So. Yeah, Marco, if, if they would have been planning that, they would have done so ages ago, right? I don't think that an AI is actually keen on doing it when he's running a deficit. It's a bloody diplomat. He's probably like, yeah, whatever. We don't want to spend our blah, blah, blah. I don't know, it, it seems to be bugging out. I don't know what is going on with the Scots. Uh, with the, uh, yeah, with the boats over here, but they're just not moving. What can I say? And there's nobody on my border, which leads me to think that, uh... I don't know. Is it dependent on ruler personality these days, what, what he does in a war? Militarists would loan up to actually go to force limit. Take your throne. Nope. That king now. Hmm. 
I don't care. I'm just constantly not interested in, in actually, uh... It's starting to get tempting to just, uh... Go and see! Hello! Where are you? There's nobody here! See? Gone! Wish kaput! They might be in Perth, but that's what I thought. The Scots are somewhere else. They're just not here. They're not in the capital. They're not in Ayrshire. They're not, they're not in Argyll. Not in Inverness. Not in Sutherland. Nowhere. <laughs> but where the hell are they? Oh, suits me. I'm gonna kick some ass then. Uh, yeah, we don't need those anymore. They actually design on boats, so whatever. So what do we do now? Who was most interested outside of uh, the Isles to our... Oh, the Danes are interested to... Uh... Oh, that's very interesting. Hey, Danes, they're friendly, folks. Woohoo! Not uh, sure. Why not? This might actually be enough if I make some more, uh, army. The Danes might become our ally. Ah! Okay, that worked. Worked. Damn you, I was gonna disinherit my heir. Well, whatever. Hey, you kings. Oh, well, at least he has a siege pip. Time to die. Anybody else interested? Uh, apart from Brittany, that is. Castile is not too far away. Very, very interesting. Oh, okay, Castile's. Why not? Uh, no! I'm gonna improve with some random guys. Why not? Ah, he did make a cavalry. <laughs> yeah, see? Ah, they are in Perth. So what the hell? I think he is falling asleep, folks. Maybe I should just, uh, 1444. But yeah, I can't blame him. It's not my fault the AI is asleep. Hello? Oh? Okay. Um, I don't want to defend my nation. What I want? He's not even gonna re. Ah, now he is. Okay. Very interesting. Oh, he was not asleep. He was just abiding his time. Uh, do we take the fight or not? In the Highlands, it's probably a bad idea. What I could do is let them in. Uh, use my fleets to wipe him out. Oh, he's... Wait a minute. Oh, no, you don't. Eh, eh. Mm. Mm. Oh yeah, re-siege. I'll let you own my capital the moment everything else is bloody sieged up. Seems. This is probably a really bad idea. <laughs> 
up. Don't you forgot? Wait, what? Okay. Why, Brittany, then? I kind of want to siege all this up. So that I can... If, if he goes defensive, I want to be able to trigger Shattered Retreat. Well, it's going to be Shattered Retreat if I use the boats, but yeah. Eh. Mm. Oh, well, we can wait a bit. Tech four already. This is too easy, AI. Come on. Really? Why is the AI constantly derping us? Oh, I mean, boy, will I be glad I'll have a new game on Thursday to stream. This is just. Too derpy. Does the Isles and Gildan share the same ideas? Uh, I don't know. Good question. We got uh, the Wallace. Okay, that's William Wallace. Okay, morale of armies 15%. I don't know. It's uh, probably the Highland clans. Yeah, that sounds like Gildam, all right. Storming the castle. Siege. Yeah, okay, that's the same one. We got garrison size. Woohoo! Most useful. Most very, very useful. Oh well. We got no real good generals. Nothing nada. <laughs> Don't even have a shock general, do we? Now we got five army tradition. I'm not even gonna roll. <laughs> What's the fucking point? Hey, McDonald. You go, man. You might still grab three shock. Yeah, okay, fine. I'll roll it once then. Eh, not that bad. Two siege is not that bad. Freedom! Uh, 
73 base shock one. Okay. Seems one already. Three to four base shock holes. Yes. Okay. You're so dead, Scotland. And that, as they say, is that. Well, wait a minute. This, 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 Oh, come on. Wait, what? We can dance, we can dance. <laughs> dun, 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 can't put it on, or I can't export it to the bloody YouTube. <laughs> yeah, well, fine. How can you be going. What? It's occupied! How you can. Oh, well. Oh well, who cares? The fleet is warping into a different dimension, this chat is saying. It's trying to warp. Sack of Edinburgh, okay. Well, hmm. Rub it in. It's probably a bad idea. I need it. Lodian is probably the best idea because it's perfect to develop an institution, and Ayrshire is also pretty good, but yeah. Um. 
Eh. I could do that. It's two centers of trade. Leave them in uh, Aberdeen and uh, Sutherland. Doesn't sound like a too bad idea. Yeah, sure. I can live with this. And we would be uh, able to ally whoever hates England. Nobody would. Oh. Oh! Nobody would hate it. <laughs> Derp. Yeah, about that. Hmm. Aberdeen is part of the state. Yeah. I use a border mod chat. It should be obvious. The uh, white red is uh, border mods. Uh, state mods and the uh, the other one over here is uh, nations and the uh, little lines are the uh, province ones Take their money eh, you might be right. I mean But I I, I don't know man take the money eh. money. Uh, Hmm. I could do something like, like this. No, not trigger a coalition, and we can. Yeah, wait a minute. It is. Oh, man. It, it, <laughs> Is that the straight? Wait, is there a straight between here and there also? Where do you see? Ah, there we go. It, ah, okay, it does have a straight. I don't see red, so, uh, yeah. <laughs> well, this might be perfect. England does not have claims yet on this one. Ulster could declare on us with the help of England, though. Ah, uh, with the help of Denmark, so wow. Uh, yeah. Well, this doesn't look that bad. The only downside is that we evict the Scots to the Highlands. But still, I think this is the best one. We should be going for land to develop here. Well, sure. Why not? I think this one is the best peace deal. 160 ducats. Well, sure. Why not? Good fight. Good night. Oh, not good night. Get the idea. Uh, We're bloody Highlanders, we're not gonna go with nobles. See you later. How much more exhaustion did we rack up? Five. Eh. <laughs> Don't even have the, uh... No. So! We're free! Woohoo! Eh. Hey Danes, come on. I feel so friendly. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Who are the rivals of you again? Denmark, Burgundy. Burgundy? Yeah, Burgundy is not dead yet. So, sure. That's so very... Ah, yeah, can't do that yet. Hey, Castile! Castile is actually allied to France in this one. So, if you could set up a triple alliance block, that would be great. There. I don't know if I want to marry or ally any... Uh, uh Irish. <laughs> Irish. Oh, we could ally to Mon, maybe. Where's that guy again? I'll never remember where is who. Well, to Mon seems to be in the... Uh, 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 oh, right. Like to Mon, then, I guess. 
So, uh, what can we do with the drunken Irish? Early in the morning. Hmm. Who's at war with who here? Wait, what? Oh, you're a vassal of England. Okay. Yeah, we can put... Ah, uh, these two are under attack, eh? Okay. okay. Who are your allies? Desmond and Kildare. Okay. Yes. Oh, come on! Forgot about that. I'm a derp. Oh, well. Hey, Scotland rivaled us. Getting me. I'm gonna take a short water break here. I need to think if we don't ally anybody better than uh, anybody, the English will just come and have to kick our ass and be right back. Right, uh, did we even get an heir? Oh, so if the tier shifts, we might actually fall into a union. Well, okay, how much, uh... 15, nice. I think we should wait. 1463. Well, if England does not get a claim on us, on Ayrshire or Lodian before 1462, they can't attack us, right? So if then France hits them, we might be able to hit them the moment Aragon and uh, Portugal dishonor due to the French war. Right. That sounds the best way to go. Still, I want some allies. Anything better than uh well, they might flip friendly at some point. The Danes or the Brits or whatever. Uh we do get the threatened. Yeah, of course we do. So sure wait, why did I lose trust with you? What? Why am I at 48? The hell? What did I ever do to the Danes to lose trust? Whatever. And the English are already consolidating Ireland here. Uh, I can't even attack. Can't even do anything. What I could do is collapse to these Fredicelli heretics. I might actually do that. Because reasons. You want the axes? Yeah, sure, buddy. The moment you cancel that one is a good, uh... It's a good indication if they actually will not turn hostile or not. So do I build any boats? Yeah, we do have the, uh, two centers of trade now over here. I don't know if uh, a trade fleet might actually be feasible. I think it's uh, better to start focusing on some temples if we ever get the tech, but we don't have the tech, so... <laughs> hmm. I don't know, man. I'm just gonna forget the boats against the English. I'm making a... 
making up a fleet against the English is likely a bad idea. I am just never gonna be able to defleet the English Navy. There's just no way. Ten heavies? Forget about it. I'm gonna have to make twenty. Not a chance I've got. Well, maybe Marco says, yeah, no, you should cycle your fleets and blah blah blah. It works. Nice. Meh. Come on, no, nobody is actually. Nobody is even remotely interested in doing anything with us. <sighs> oh, Clan Ricard. I don't know if I want to ally on any of these suckers. There is, seems to be no war. What exactly does England need again to get its claims on... Uh, to get its claims on entire island? I don't know if I even want to mess around with the Irish. Because, yeah, if the English get the perma claims, then uh, I might be effed. You know, I should be spending the money. And I don't know if a trade fleet is worth it. Wait, what? That fleet is still warping! It's still sitting over there, trying to warp into another dimension. A 3 4 3. Eh. Something better than that. Come on, guys. Marry me. Flip friendly. Anyone. Oh, well, that's chill. But what do you folks think? Well, Marco or everybody, anybody, you think a trade fleet is worth it? Eh, England's opinion. Okay. Maybe the English aren't dead. I've never done a run where we stacked up innovativeness. But innovativeness, contrary to what most people think, can be really great. Because if you max it out, it's not that hard to actually get 100 innovativeness. And that means you get about... The same effect as Golden Age, you get minus 10% uh, Monarch Point cost, right? So I might actually, uh, just for once, you know, try and rack up some innovativeness. I should even get my head examined. That was actually saying, yeah, let's go for innovativeness, what's next? Me building a fort to actually get some uh, prosperity on the go? Sure. I am not gonna build it. The moment we get uh, London or whatnot, we might actually build a trade fleet, but now it's not us. Uh, it's not worth my while. And hey, you stupid Danes. <sighs> There's just nothing we can do. Uh, what do I even... Wait a minute, did I improve at Burgundy already? No! What? I'm an idiot. Anybody airless? Ryazan. Okay. Portugal is airless. Hmm. How far were we here from... Uh, well, why do you, maybe I should finish the Renaissance in here. Hmm. Wait, flee diseases? Yeah, yeah, okay. That's what I thought. Lose papal influence. I don't want to do that. Forget about it. Oh, yeah, we don't have enough sailor income. <laughs> what was Paradox thinking installing the stupid sailors? For tiny nations, it's like, ooh, ah. I remember my ODF campaign or whatever it was, and, and then me trying to figure out how to get one cog, one, if you own one port, we just didn't get the sailors. <laughs> I needed a cog to ship over troops, and I was like, Arr. We didn't need it in the end, but that's not the point. 
They are fun and they make sense too. Yeah, sure. No doubt. No doubt. Come on, you derpy eye, Fred Finley. Oh. Hmm. Glad we got. Derps. They might flip friendly any day. Too many diplomatic relations, but of course. Is there anybody we didn't set friendly yet? I think we we never did it on uh, Burgundy. Could be fixing that. Oh, and yeah, by the way. Uh, Burgundy Lorraine. What? Why is France not involved in that? Oh, we're talking. Okay. Ooh. Sure. Let's use those merchants. Friendly. Yes. <sighs> Come on, you derps. Life love me. Ugh. Did he really get a six five three? Okay. Wait. Please be good. Please be good. Uh, yeah. Oh wait, that was my queen. We got a, a three three two, right? And average claim. But of course. Derp. Ah to ninety. I didn't see it. I'm an idiot. Should I move my? Ca I think the Renaissance is better off in here. We we already uh, we already developed it. Come on, I could get it to thirty and then go for the age objective, right? Yeah, we will. I'm not gonna move my capital into here either. Uh, no, sorry. So probably better to just give it all to the merchants, right? Yes. Cause yeah, sailors. Yes. And I don't know. It's tempting to give it to the to the clergy for full tax money here. Yeah, because reasons. See, oh, 
everybody says give in to the uh but i don't know in a situation like this we get, we will get a lot more money from the taxation than we will get from trade right so i don't know even though it's uh this one it has six if we improve autonomy and just give it yes I'm gonna do it But, uh, we might not be able to do it on all the stuff. And that just screams temple. So there, I don't think I can actually give it all. Yeah, that definitely. Ah, we could give this one to the uh, burgers, I guess. Sure. And we could start milking those suckers also. Wait, what? But, 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 it said 85. What? Am I an idiot? Did I just misread that? <laughs> I thought it said it will increase to 85, not 100. What? Okay, it was probably 85. Increased loyalty to 80. Oh, man, I am such an idiot. I misread that totally. <laughs> okay, great. Just... Right. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Am I allowed to bird that? I just misread it. <sighs> derp! I'm such a derp. Yeah. I'm an idiot. And I'm just gonna refire the game because I honestly misread. Oops! The game crashed. I only do it in situations like that where I just misread and do stupid stuff. I kind of feel dumb about that. <laughs> that was uh, pretty stupid of me. You know what? Um, hello game. E4 doesn't respond. Right? I think that Scottish fleet that was warping is actually, uh, warping into my, uh, game. Nope. It unbugged. Wait, they removed it plus 25%? I don't think so, Ensign, did they? I think if you revoke a state, you still get plus 25 autonomy across the board, right? See you, King. Just having some fun and, uh, before Imperator. Did I ask for Impregnator? Yeah, we asked for it. Well, I got it for free, and then we asked a, uh, and then we asked a pre release key on top. Because reasons. Wait a minute, what? Oh! Wait, why it doesn't... Oh, the core construction is on top. I'm so used to it from... Never mind. Base production in art... Wait, is that the capitals? No, that's the... It's not the capitals. No oh, else. Well. Not fully. Yeah, 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 I'm just used to having the core construction at the bottom chat. Sorry. I'm an idiot. There, you have it. Uh. 
Uh, right. So, let's look at that again, shall we? Increase loyalty influenced by... Yeah, okay. Okay. Sure. Well, so we cannot even give it to them. Oh. What if I give this to the... Uh... Not sure. We'll give it Lodian later then. Let's start milking these guys also. Ah. Uh... Yeah. Hmm. We can go to 85, but it's probably pushing it, but oh well. Nothing like a good push. Give me the money. Mm. What? Patulo? What kind of a Highlander name is that? Patulo. And he's... Why do all my generals have no shock? <laughs> oh, God. Well, one or two seeds. Oh, this one. So, whatever. So, anybody uh, willing to ally us or whatever? Yeah, all the Irish loving us. Ah, Burgundy. Sure. Castiles. Okay. Yeah, Castile has no real reason to ally us, right? We don't share rivalries. Oh. Hmm. Ah, Burgundy, I don't know. I never really allied Burgundy. <laughs> what are the odds for somebody outside of the Empire again? Don't you need like six provinces to be able to get the Burgundian inheritance? <laughs> <laughs> oh, they changed that stuff so many times that I just don't even know anymore. But yeah, why not? Marry Burgundy. Sure. Oh yeah, wait a minute, I don't need a claim on you, because we already got... Yeah, but I'm yeah, declaring reconquest for that, we'd never be able to get Ticking War Scrolls, so whatever. Ah, uh, well... How many guys are we actually looking at? 12k. Well, we are at maximum manpower pool and we got the, the money, so we should probably just be uh, killing them and not improving autonomy. Highlanders, whatever. Scots, yeah, they will rise up and uh, load you. How much... Uh, Supply. We still only have 10, but if we develop like one more time, we, we will get another one. Um, how far are we here? Oh, come on. How much? Well, that should be enough. I'll just undo it. We'll get it for free now. Ah, oh, shoot! Ah, we didn't have the heat attack. Yeah, that's my bad. I'm a derp! We're not burning that. Idiot.
You need to be Emperor or Spain Castillo. That's not correct, Ensign. That's not correct. Well, wait a minute. So you're telling me if, that it, that Savoy or Milan getting the Burgundian inheritance only get it? Because they're in the HRE until 1490? So you're telling me that Savoy or Milan or anybody else cannot get the Burgundian inheritance after they leave the HRE? Oh, okay then. Eh. Meh. Hmm. Yeah, okay. I suppose I'll believe the wiki then. Who's will believe it? <laughs> England is airless. What? What would happen there? Hi, England. Not oh, great. Just, just great. Ah, succession war between Aragon and France. You gotta be kidding me, game. What should happen? Oops. Just wait. Yes. I don't know about Ally in Burgundy. I really don't know. But it is on. It is on. Hmm. Should probably do it. We could use them against the uh, the English. And give them only Calais. It's like 13 development. Problem is, yeah, they won't ship their troops over. So, uh, meh. Oh well, we need some allies. Who else was it? Oh yeah, the Danes. Hey Danes, what's up with you? Why don't you love me? Well... Reasons, I guess. They might flip friendly any minute. Due to threatened by uh, England. And France might also do it. France did rival Burgundy though, so... Eh. <sighs> Anything else we should be doing with these guys? Oh, well. We could go and expand in here, but eh. Hmm. Ah, but Ulster actually rivaled us. So they'll never let us through. Oops. Cannot even declare war because we're still, uh... <sighs> What? Pay him off. Oh, goodbye, truce with England. Gone in Portugal. I oh, can't check it. God damn it, I need more stability. Well, let's look at the situation in Iberia then. What are the odds Aragon gets declared upon? Castile did rival them. Eh. Eh. Nope. Ah, 
England is still airless. Come on! Get an air, Henry. <laughs> if that succession war fires, wouldn't be good. So, kick his ass, maybe, but we can't. Because, yeah, reasons. What should actually go? Of course, boat honoring it. It's not 11k. What am I even dreaming? <laughs> Let's see. Hey, England. 35,000. Jesus Christ. Man, I don't know. If that succession war fires over England, then yeah, we gotta deal with Aragon to get English land. And that doesn't bode too well. I can't just declare on England. We could, but... <laughs> I kind of need a war to break out anything like 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 we uh said we we could hope that France actually hits England in September. I sincerely doubt it, but they might who is France all like Provence ah okay yeah yeah if Castile joins France in a declaration on uh England, then Castile will kill Portugal. Yeah. Hmm. And then we could declare uh, on uh, England with the help of Burgundy. And who knows? Maybe then the English fleet will actually get obliterated. It's far fetched, but it might work. It might work. You gotta be kidding me. The guy was like, Oh well, <laughs> goodbye, McDonald. <laughs> Just great. Back to minus three. Man, I, I am getting so tempted to collapse to these jokers. And he's a naive enthusiast. Oh, that is just perfect. That is just perfect. Idiots. Yeah, 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 yeah. And a queen with burgundy. Okay. Hey, von Wittl's back. What? The Danish ruler is infertile. So wait, first he spreads his genes to us, and then he doesn't want to marry us because he's infertile. Well, I know it doesn't work like that, but what? He's actually got a weak claim. If we had more prestige than Denmark, we could force a union on the Kalmar Union. Yeah. Maybe not. So far, it's all going great, right? Nobody is flip friendly to us. 
Oh, normally you could pull it off. Yeah, maybe. Wait, what? Don't tell me these rebels are gonna kick my ass. What? You gotta be kidding me, game. You gotta be kidding me. Why? Wait. Why did they spawn in a stack of 12? It's not allowed, Paradox. They cannot be higher than your force limit. Oh, it's bugging out again. Well, that's just great. I might be losing the battle due to this guy actually flanking me. Oh my god, those rolls! Oh, this is just great. This is just great. That tanks game. Oh, we didn't have a... Ah, uh, shoot, my king died. I'm a derp. I was looking at that. We were having no general there. Oh, great. Just great. Oh, well, separatism o'clock then, I guess. Kind of stupid to me. Oh well, I'm not even. I, I don't think a general would even have worked against shock rolls like that. <sighs> God damn you, game. Jokers. I could start improving with random uh, guys that are not as fast as yet. I want to do it without people we could ally. Come on, love me. Uh, oh, they're attacking. Wait, what? Why do the Scottish separatists actually. Oh, just great. Ah. Uh. Hmm. Do we try to flee? Or yeah, we're building troops in here. Hmm. They would flank me to bits, man, with two uh, cavalry. Their their troops are a bit battered yet, but oh, damn it. At least the English uh, got in there. Hmm. Oh, well, they're attacking us in the hills. I'm tempted to take the fight. The problem is we don't really have any, uh, oh, well, come on. Did we get lucky? Huh, to be shocked. Come on, you derps. Don't tell me they're gonna roll 9-0 shock again. 4 to 8 oh, just great. Thanks, game. Thanks a bunch. Thanks a bunch. Oh, another 9 shock roll. Yeah, why not? Uh. Oh. Eh. Nah, it'll never work. Forget about it. God damn it, piece of crap. That's the second time I lose it because of high shock rolls from these rebels. Well, we also lost it because we didn't have morale and because they were flanking us, but still. Those rolls, man. Those rolls. Fucking insane. They will never let us through. Why did I even build them over here? No. Oh, well.
Ah, la, la, la. Come on, you rebels. What now? One chance out of two. Which one will they go? So I'm not gonna take any chances here anymore. They, they defeated my. They defeated me. What? Oh, yeah, Scotland is actually. Ah, oh, Scotland has cores on that one. Yeah. Okay. That's good. I swear to God, if I lose this again, no oh, rage. Nah, I've got the upper hand now. It's getting really tempting to try and collapse to these Freddy Shellys. Wait, what? Oh, England didn't get an air. Wait, did, did the air die or something? What? I, I I could have sworn I just checked it and it's oh well. Just great. <sighs> okay, fine. Man, I don't know. France is not seemingly willingly to declare on these stupid English. <sighs> Eh. Mm. <laughs> I would so. That there is no way he'll say that I can. Oh. Ah, forget about it. Not on high, on low stability. I can do lone strategies on on minus three. Forget about it. Whoop! Oh! 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 oh. He's doing it. Doki. Please tell me, what's England fall in the Union right before France attacks? Knowing my luck, that is actually exactly what's going to happen now. Meh. Yeah. Hmm. Ah, shoot, I'm a derp. I was going to give this to the... Ah, oh, man. I am such an idiot. Idiot. But oh, dead. Wait, what? It said 94. Oh, I did it again. I can't believe it. Why do I? I watched it nine. I, I keep. I am such a. I am such an idiot, man. Jesus. Derp. I'm a derp. Oh, and I'm even more derp because I should have asked for one. Man, what am I even doing? I should have asked for the 200, but oh well. That's my own mistake. I'm just an idiot today. I really am. Well, not only today. As you may know. I'm derping hard at the moment. Yeah, yeah, Marco, I was just too annoyed to even care. They're doing it! <coughs> Okie dokie! So France and Castile as predicted, and now I might actually have a move here. Wait, did Portugal dishonor? Portugal dishonored! Okay! So England only had... nobody! They got... 
Wait, what? Wait a minute. What? Why did Aragon not honor that? With face? Well, that's good. That's really good. But, what? I don't like loaning up. Ah, uh, no, it's because they love the Frenchies. Yeah! So, wait a minute. Aragon is not allied... Is allied to England. France attacks England and then Aragon says... Eh! Eh! They cannot eat... France cannot even ally Aragon because they are uh, allied to their rival Castile. But still Aragon is dishonoring England because they love the Frenchies who allied their rival. Makes a lot of sense, game. Uh, but oh well. Makes a lot of sense. What modifiers do the heretics add? I, I would say more clergy... Oh yeah, derp. You're right. I see where you're going. They do add uh, more... Uh, they do add... No, they don't. So wait. They don't add... They don't... They, no. I, do, I was... It's other rebels, right? It's zealots who do that. Add uh, clergy uh, influence. I hope you could follow that explanation, but that is was exactly what was going on. Oh, you uh, you are so not calling me into that, Burgundy. You are so not... Oh, man, I should have declared... Ah, this is not good, because now France is at war with Burgundy also. Eh, would he call me in on that? I'm not gonna take the risk. And then we get Burgundian inheritance, and then nobody will actually... Be allied to me. Not just great. Just great. If I now see the English naval landing into uh, God knows where. Yeah, let's use uh, the good old tactic of spy boats. Wait, what? What the hell? Is that Freddy Sully ones? That must be Freddy Sully ones. Yeah, I, I think I saw some in Oxford. Yeah, the ink. Lollard heretics. Okay. Sh sure. Wait, what? Why doesn't the Iona kick him off the capital before they actually take it? Oh, well. If we set him to friendly, as Chad is saying, then I think Burgundy cannot call us in, right? Did they fix that one? Oh, come on, Agent discovered my ass. Oh. <sighs> yeah, the Danes, just because they're infertile. Oh, well. It's really tempting to declare on England right now. But, yeah, we need to collapse to the uh, heretics first. Which is also not that easy. <laughs> so, what do we do? With the diplomats. We want France again, maybe? Eh. France is not... Well... Burgundy would win. Ah, there's no way. Mm. Why should be uh, improving with all the guys that are independent still over here? For uh, aggressive expansion reasons, if we ever take them on. Burgundy, okay. Burgundy loves us. Oh, you gods, the entire English army is still over here. Oh, well. Can't win versus four times the numbers. And he has more Miltag than me. Oh, that's for long. Shh. 
Penguins just will not defend the mainland tend to what? What? Oh man, come on, really now? Hmm. What are those English doing? What? Wait, what? Somebody might actually have a uh, naval invaded over there. Burgundy is so gonna die. If I can actually do the switcheroo with France and Burgundy, I'll do it, but yeah. Too many diplomatic relations. I really wonder in the end if uh, England is facing a lot of guys now. If France and Castile could actually beat up the English Navy, I sincerely doubt it. Like we still have all their... Uh... But I've seen France actually doing it, sometimes. If they would manage to naval invade, that would be swell. France does not even have heavies, and England is having more heavies than ever before, so whatever. Kildare is gonna go for Ormond. Yeah. Ah, oh, well, Ireland, whatever. When is our truce up with Scotland, by the way? 1472. Oh, yeah, and I'm a derp, because I don't think I got a claim yet. Oh, man, couldn't you have given me luck, Stella? That's the second time. This this does not give you a very high guaranteed uh, right air. Three, three, one, whatever. Let's laugh about the economy. Let's scorn the woman. <clears throat> Tch. Okay. Okay. Just look at this derp AI. Jesus H. Christ. They're sieging up Paris. <laughs> at least France is now dishonored. But I still the uh the uh, diplomatic royal marriage is still on. Ah, who's to say after this war? I might actually be able to do that, switch you. First, Scotland has to die. It's Scotland actually allied only Ulster. Wait. That wouldn't be bad. We could actually get Ulster and totally dominate the... Uh... Here. Hey, England! I'm an idiot, by the way. Derp! Don't want to let me in. Um, 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 man, I should have hit on my island and, and, don't, can't get out. So he's uh, having one, two, yeah, wait a minute, you got five provinces, right? Yeah, so he needs to occupy three. Don't, can't get out. They're gonna kick my ass. One chance out of two. Let me through, you derp. Thank you. Wait, what? Oh, he went over there. Oh, okay then. Do collapse. Wait, 
Did we actually go to uh we went to 30. I should probably not develop it until, but <laughs> Yeah, that's exactly what I'm thinking about. It is still cheap. I wanna kinda kinda wanna get rid of the uh devastation and Lodian. So there. I don't know if building a fort on Lodian and moving my capital there now would be such a good idea. It's twenty versus thirty over there. It is a center of trade, but we would actually have to uh, revoke from the clergy. Bad idea. Sligo is actually doing pretty well. Ah, now we're talking. That's a good air. Three, three, six. Thank you, gang. That's not too bad. Our queen is the 424 Marie de Bourgon. So. Uh. <laughs> At least he's fast. Derps. Mm -hmm. 0031. Yeah, okay. Let's tech up, build the temple, and uh, see how the war is going over here. Are the English doing anything? Oh, I sincerely doubt it. Well, they, they should be using... Yeah, wait, do the English even have... Uh, do the English even have... Uh, transports? That's not the one. They might still be naval invading God knows what. Yeah, they got 28 transports. Shoot, I should have been checking that if the English actually were uh, transporting uh, over their navy. Did anybody see English running around on the mainland? Because I'm an idiot and I didn't check it. Let's actually see. Yes, okay. Okay. Hmm. Wait, what are the Scots doing in there? Wait, what? Oh, that's Holland. Yeah, derp. That flag is so alike. Holland and uh, Scotland. Uh. Yeah, and that's his fleet with the transports. Do I see English sieging up somewhere? Not that I can see. Nothing is being besieged here. Is there any random nation I totally forgot in this war? Hmm. They were in France, yeah. So they were, you say. You're telling me they got wiped? Ooh. Right. Okay. Um. Okay. Sh sure. Um. 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 Right. Okie dokie. I get it, game.
The problem is the English vassals here. They combine have more than me tend to what? But... Oh, man. It is a diplomat, so he might not rebuild. That's a really big... He might not. But he might not. Oh, come on, Marco. I have to do it, right? I mean, really? I have to do it. In all honesty, I think Scotland might invade me if I do that, but... <laughs> if I see English with only one army standing in Hampshire, wouldn't you do it? I mean, really? In two months he will have 40k... Ah, yeah, but, 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 but... Oh, don't fuck crying. Oh, well, Chad is right. Chad is right. I know I should be waiting, but really, he's not gonna get any more troops. Ah. Because it's a diplomat. Diplomats are very, very unwilling to rebuild their army. They only got one loan. Eh, they are rebuilding. I sincerely doubt he's going to build the Merc army. He should have invaded when he was overseas. Uh, about that. Where they are, actually... Well, we could, we could actually make... I could actually make a transport fleet, and while this fleet is... Oh, never mind. We'll see. Let, let's first at least get our uh, morale up. Well, that was not Burgundian inheritance. Okay. Sure. I was right. He is not rebuilding. But if I declare, he will. 10 to 1, because he will see me more as of a threat. See, chat? He's not rebuilding, because it's a diplomat. Ruler personalities play a bigger role than you might think. A diplomat just says meh, if he sees that situation. And he will actually try during the war to pay off the loans rather than rebuild the army. I'm just gonna declare it. If I declare, and if it's it's if it's a nation that is bordering him over here, he will rebuild. Nah, we'll see. We'll just keep an eye on it. Leinster might be uh, the real problem here, so it's really tempting to actually uh, use my boats. Yeah, I don't know. If the uh, vassal has a uh, ship still, you'll need to be very lucky from. Yeah, we'll see. If he rebuilds, we j then we rebuild, right? What do you want me to do? Loan up everything and do it? Eh, we could do it. I could go loan up a thousand ducats and just hire mercs and then whatever. The comet with is 22. We could go up to that. But the pro. Oh, well. Ah, uh, maybe you're right, chat. Fine, 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 fine. Jesus. Do it the old-fashioned way? Ah, you're probably right. But hey, as long as the, uh... As long as all the provinces are connected to one another, he does use all of them. Right? Hmm. 
He's building it. Oh, 5k. Oh, okay. Hmm. He is rebuilding now. He probably paid off his loans then. I'm just trying to guess AI behavior here. I think it was uh, based on the uh, ruler personalities. No, he's actually loaning up more. Eh, then I was likely wrong. Ah, well. Take East March. Sure. I see. I, I just don't know if he has any fleets here. Yeah, he does. Of course he does. Nah. He got a cardinal, yay me. Alright. Well, I don't know. It's tempting to loan up everything we can now. Gonna be dependent on how well this uh, English will actually uh, rebuild. Uh, Fourteen thousand—that's what I thought. I might need more here. Might actually be rebuilding. Does this get updated live? I don't know. Come on, morale advisor. Yeah. Oh yeah, wait a minute, that actually gets uh received by uh, derp. Oh my god. I might get smacked already. Yes. Sounds like we might. Could have gotten more. Hmm. Army reformer. Great. Well, we could build some mercs over here and quickly, uh... Yeah, that's not gonna work. Ten to one. No one would be enough. Ah, shoot, too late. If they all go move towards the north, might have a chance here. Which of the world go? Oh man. <laughs> I'll never understand AI. You should kick my ass so hard. And I should have loaned up everything because I'm a derp and we didn't do it. It's too late actually. I think we missed out on like 15 loans because I'm an idiot! There goes the Navy. Oh, wait, what? Just 
activate. Oh, that's so... oh well. And we just lose it, I guess. Got a two seed general, but no. Hmm. Ah, shoot! I didn't pause the game. Again. Derp. What? Just cut. Oh, right. Not even up the bot. Busy chat today. What? How did you wipe me out so fast? God damn you! We had a morale advisor. Now did he? No. Oh. Nice. I see you, King. Who the hell are you even talking about? Oh well, it seems like we're just gonna horribly. Marco was actually right. He will rebuild the moment we declare, and now we're just fucked. Oh yeah, and I can't even. Just bloody done for. Oh, wait a minute. What? You're talking about a rumba? What can I say? I should have declared on bloody Scotland. This is just, uh... Me being stupid. We're gonna go bankrupt for no reason here. I don't know. I could go and engage them, but we would have to, uh, 16k. There's no way I can win that. Right. Against 30k. Not even having 20k. Uh, gotta try it. But it's likely too late already because I'm just derping up. Maybe it's too late already. Hmm, by the way, can we get that text? No, there's no way. We already asked this one, right? Seems dumb now. Ooh, a 2 4 one, 2. That's not too bad. Okay. Okie dokie. They're so gonna get it. I'm too late. So too. Damn you! Totally forgot about those suckers. <sighs> Get out of here. Wait, what? <laughs> what was the point of that, AI? Back again? Maybe you can just stay and live here. Wait, what? Uh, 
Nekarok, thanks for uh, coming back nine months in a row. Good to have you uh, back, and uh, thanks for the continued support in the channel. Continued support, one. Okay, so what do we got now? 20. Maybe build uh, one more. So we're gonna get it at 35 now. Oh, know it. Just great, and now we die. Oh man, one more month and I would have been ready. Damn you, game. Ah well, this was not the best session we did. No, I deserve to die here. Did you see that? Hey, to whatever roll in my face once more. Hey, me. Mm. Nah, there's no way. I'm already collapsing. Well, I don't have the time for that. Man, if it wasn't for that goddamn zero roll at the start. Ah, uh, this is so close, but the eight roll at, at the start fucked it up. Fucked it up. You won't make it, I bet. Folks, the rolls fucked us up. Can't do anything about it. What can I say? Uh, it's RNG. <laughs> I could go rage like Marco likes to do about the RNG, but it's uh, that that first roll with eight shock basically lost us the battle. If it would have been a zero roll for England, we would have won it. Ah uh, well, time to die, I guess. There's not even anything they would agree to. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I lost it. I know it already. Jesus H. Christ. <sighs> Yay! Okay. Wait, what? The Isles will return everything. Oh, that's what I thought. I, want. I was like, wait, what? He's not asking me anything. Oh, God in heaven. I don't even. I never should have declared that war. People warned me for this. Oh, well. Looks like 1444, I guess. What can I say? We done goofed. I was assuming the Diplomat would not rebuild that fast and that hard. But oh well. As well. <laughs> ping pong, ping pong. They really like the ping pong, don't they? And what are you talking about? Maybe in earlier patches. God damn you. Oh, well, folks, I suppose we could just restart the diplomat thingy. What? So, wait a minute. What exactly was that peace deal? Is there anything else we could do? I don't know. 
Yeah, he won't accept anything apart from uh, giving back the uh, everything. Give back the claims, and I don't know. We could just cede it to England instead of returning it to, and then just uh, still reconquest them. But yeah. Nah, I don't want really to get flowed into those stupid English. No. Giving it to Scotland might actually be the best idea. But we would lose our core with core returning, right? Well, I get the feeling we should just be restarting, you know. We could keep Ayrshire. Is there so what if I do it this way? That's 88. Hmm. Oh, not gonna work. Yeah, I think I will just restart chat. Really? We made a mistake declaring on England without allies. We could have won it, but the battles were just meh. I should have taken Chad's advice and build up to uh, loan up everything and build up to uh, 22 before and then just put it all on West March. Ah, well. Time to 1444, I guess. Bit sad. 1471. Ah, not the end of the world. We're just having some fun until Imperator. So I don't mind losing. And what, it wasn't a bad campaign to actually continue because, uh, I don't know, England did not have any allies. But yeah, we'll just, if I lose those two high dev provinces, I don't know. What do you, I, I'm tempted to give it a go, just continue 1471. Continue from our island, kick uh, Scotland and reconquest England. What do you think, chat? Do we continue or restart? <laughs> May have uh, quit the game a bit too soon. We still got our capital. Better luck this one? Yeah, Ashpool, I'm sorry. I was hoping that uh, England would not rebuild and that we would actually have some luck in the battles, but yeah, that's... Uh, we fucked up. If it was one more month before they got our capital, I would likely have knocked him off. But oh, bad luck, you know. But it was just me derping out hard. We should have uh, loaned up everything we can before they occupied us, and we should have kicked them off our capital sooner. But hey. You do whatever you feel like. Yeah, the naval guide. Come on, chat. England had 12 heavies. Ah, oh, yeah, we could build an... Uh, how many... How many heavies do you need to naval barrage? How many cannons does an early Karak even have? I see a point. We could have maybe naval barraged and gotten West March sooner. But... Eh. Don't give up. Punish them. Oh, well. There used to be a time that I said no retreat, no surrender, no restarts. But oh well. Hmm. Well, let's see. What, what did they want to uh, accept? Return the cores? Nah. Well, we could hit Scotland immediately after this uh, if we rebuild. They only got uh, Ulster as an ally. He's right there. <sighs> hmm. Well, 
Yeah, not all everything with Burgundy is also probably not a good idea. Is Burgundy actually in debt? No, he's not. Hmm. I'll recompute then. If I do it like this, and war operations and give him all the money, that's already 71. That's 91. He doesn't want to actually give it. Co return Argyle to Scotland, maybe. Huh? Well, hmm. Returning cores gets rid of the cores, so. Eh? Yeah, giving this to England, I don't know. Getting it back from England will be a lot harder than getting it back from. Uh, I don't know. I have no forts, but yeah, we would lose them. Ah well. I think I'll just accept this and then see. We might still kill the uh, the Scottish before we go bankrupt on this, but I sincerely doubt it. Ah, don't, don't. I really messed this war and the war against the uh against the bloody uh English up so hard. But mess. Mm. Oh, hi there, Sleeko. Yeah, I like you. Sure. It does not have the claims yet. Anybody else? We'll just continue it. Why not? There used to be a time I always continued stuff like this. Kildare and the Isle. So Kildare, eh? Yeah, sure. Why not? Let's ally all the Irish. Eh. The English do have claims on that. Hmm. Ah, whatever. I might promise land to all of them and then hit uh, hit England again. Just a sec. Right. Uh, we don't have boats. We don't have anything. The Scots only have. Uh, well, we could hit. The, we could build up an army again and just go. It's 240. Eh. Eh. Mm. Eh. Sod it. We'll just hit him. Build up hard. I'm not going to give it up. Old school. In the tweet. No restarts. Oh, we only got nine force limit, eh? Oh, well. Oh, whatever. Anybody else willing to uh, marry or whatever? Uh, France is actually. Uh, wait a minute. France is actually close. We already improved with him. Hmm. Oh. Oh shoot! Not too many over here. Who do we get rid of? Likely this guy. The other ones have siege. Yes. Let me uh, ask anything from the estates before we uh, bash up. Ah, shoot! Come on! I totally forgot that. Ugh. If you lose land, the estates actually go unhappy for the uh, revoked. No. That's kind of stupid game. Can't help it. <laughs> RNG made me lose the well, RNG. It wasn't exactly RNG. Stupid mistakes on my part, also. You 
you could turn it into a siege battle. He both have no forts, and I don't think he has a fleet. Well, he might. I don't know. We're still horribly outnumbered. The Ulster and the Scots will kick our uh, asses 10 to 1. Uh, October, I might actually wait here. How much loans could we take? 49 loans of 17. That's really not that bad. We could probably win it. Hmm. Wait, what? Ulster is actually at war now. Hmm. Yep. with this is if the Scottish Navy is actually fast enough. Yeah, Ulster. Here. Does the Scots still have an... I they might block me to actually cross the strait there. That's something I... Uh... Ah, but they got, they got only those eight transports will likely uh, just mud ball. I need to cross into... Uh... Hmm. Ah, we'll just... Do it. Building a boat? I don't have the patience for it. Much of them. Eh. Wait, so why didn't I lose my core on Argyle? Ah, because it's Highlander culture. That fleet is bothering me. Ulster could sail over here and uh, before I'm able to cross here. Shh. Go away. No. Okay then. England won't attack them. They don't have the claims. Yeah, this fleet will just kick my ass. Damn you. I really want to hit him with the uh, military tactics uh, blah blah that we got and the morale, but yeah, that fleet. We could build carracks, but I kind of don't want to wait. Hmm. Oh, it's only one C zone, it's not from here. Cannot walk from here to here. Oh man, I should be building carracks and just, uh. But yeah, it takes like two years. Two fracking years, and we would have to loan up for it. Oh well. Oh wait, what? We're still on a truce? Oh! Which is not even gone. So France dishonored, eh? Huh. France has no allies. What about you? Are you still uh, in fertile? <laughs> hmm. I don't think the Danes will be coming on over, and this fleet will just. Shh. Oh, damn you.
Well, I could s actually build up some transports and start the war from over here. But then the Ulster fleet will prevent me the crossing and... Uh, and He will immediately move over here. There's no way I would be able to actually uh, cross there. And I don't know. <laughs> it's getting still tempting to just restart here. Damn you. Stupid. I can't even build anything. Ah, well. I'll just take the chance. Turn to one the fleet is instant moving. Might also not. Yeah, but it is. That's what I suspected. 11th of February. Oh, come on! Ugh. Damn you! Damn you, damn you, damn you. That's one day. I should have mil I should have made a bloody boat. I'm just getting annoyed here. Ah well, might be time to restart. I'm just getting annoyed. Damn it! Damn okay. game. Fine. If I have to bloody sit on this for two years, I don't care. One bloody day. Wait, Brittany? Brittany got full annexed. Wait. Oh, Brittany got released out of the vault. It would be swell if the English would actually attack Ulster. Then we would be, uh, a okay. This will just never work. <laughs> oh, man. This is me getting annoyed, and I shouldn't play annoyed. Damn fleet arriving a day too early. I'm just gonna go back up before the uh, boats will even fire, so I may as well 1444. This is just never gonna work. Nah, uh, because yeah, I'm getting annoyed here, and I shouldn't be continuing if I actually am annoyed. Wait, what? Oh, we're already back. Wait, why, why did I not get a warning for that? Uh, hell game. Okay. That's what you get if you speed 5. Oh, well, we continued it, but now I don't see the point anymore. We'll just restart. Should have done it when we actually did this right th uh, last time. Wait, what boot man? What are you on about? Chat is really busy, busy. I'm just playing too many, too much Imperator to actually uh, focus on Europa, I guess. Sorry, wait, what? Just normal paradise rules here, okay. <laughs> Is it a paradox rant in the chat? Okay. Let's see if we can get a better diplomatic start now. The last campaign we did was like the worst. Nobody supported our independence. 
Nah, come on, Birdman. Imperator won't be for anybody. I sincerely doubt it. Why do you think that everybody is just gonna buy Imperator off the bat and, and then just hop into it? I sincerely doubt that. You gotta take into account all Paradox titles start unfinished when released. So would you want to play uh, a game that might potentially be uh, buggy? What can I say? Might, might not. Yeah, I'm waiting for Sea King to try and post about it. Yeah, well. Anyways, uh, eh. Ah, oh, that's only England, yeah, never mind then. Cannot send him there. Ah, well, let's just do the usual first. There. The majority of disappointed players will abandon E4. Oh, come on, Birdman. That is bull, and you know it. You don't need any DLC. Oh, excuse me. You know, you don't need any DLC as a new player in E4. You don't. Maybe Art of War, and that's it. I know plenty of people who still play uh, without DLC because they don't have the budget to uh, buy anything else, and... In Western Europe, it's totally fine to learn the game without buying DLCs. I think it's like people might actually buy some DLCs if they own E4 faster than they will buy Imperator. So, sorry. But I uh, hope you can agree that I disagree. We'll see, man. I don't know. What, 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 does, what does Imperator sell for on, uh, on launch? I don't know. You tell me. Ooh. Dane, Denmark, and England. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, that, that is uh, making it too easy, but whatever. We're just having fun here. 40 euros? Yeah, that sounds about right. That sounds about right. Marking everybody, so the message settings kick into action. E4 is already dead. <laughs> Come on, there's there's still plenty of players that play E4. If you if you watch the Steam. Uh, Blah, blah, blah. Oh, France, I like Scotland. Well, that's not good. <laughs> what is up with Scotland constantly allying the Livonian and Teutonic Order? is not... Wait, what? 
<laughs> so I can use my merchants to improve with France. What gives gain? Why does Bordeaux not improve France? Does the capital actually need to be... Countries active in the north. So you're telling me that France is not active in Bordeaux? <laughs> okay then. Well, whatever game. Uh... There then. There. And there. Oh, wait a minute. I did that all wrong. Dope. I'll put him in the channel. Just to make sure that... To improve faster with England. Margaret Danjou. Well, I'll be damned. That has been a while since I've seen that happen. Well, I'll be damned. Uh, can anybody tell me what are the odds to actually get that event? That's been ages since I've seen Margaret Danjou on the throne there. Before the surrender of Main Event. Can the surrender of Main Event even fire if they get the Anjou here? No. Who's to say? Margaret Dungeon. Ah, okay. Yeah, but wait a minute. Would Scotland honor that? Yeah, they got 21. Uh, ah, they would. Problem is, yeah, whatever. We'll see. If we get that support independence, we uh, might actually, uh, yeah, well, but the Danes, I don't know. What's to say if they want to do it? How far were they away? Oh, great. Too many diplomatic. Yeah, we. Uh, dopes. Well, guess not, I guess. Oh well. <sighs> Just great. Why does it always have to be the same bloody... I should have declared... In the, I should have kept a, uh, a diplomat handy and declare independence the moment uh, I saw that happen. We done goofed again. Shoot. Ah. Who knows? Maybe uh, the English will make us uh, free again. Say, really. This. England last time did not uh, set us free, and I sincerely doubt they will do it now. I still wonder if England needs to occupy my capital to release us or not. I don't know. Yeah, you say. Okay. Well, we got a foreign military expert. If I can actually get support independence, we... Oh, well. Please be good, foreign military expert. Give me a uh, six shock. A four, four, three, one. Well, it could have been a lot worse. 
special. Seems. How are our odds to get that? I, I sincerely doubt we're going to get support. Oh, we do. Ah! The Danes do want to do it. Okay, folks, we might be on here. Yay me. Okay. Time to die, Mr. Scotland. Oh, right. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, about that. They're still allied to everybody and their mothers. Hmm. Yeah, well, Livonian and the Teutons might actually sail some people over, but yeah, we should be standing. Uh, and France is a bit busy, busy also. I'm just gonna do it. And then we derp out. Because, ah, oh, shoot! <laughs> I didn't see them stuff. I'm just an idiot, haven't I? <laughs> I didn't even see them standing there. <laughs> Oh, God in heaven. That's stupid of me. I am derping so hard. Well, we could island trap them. Sure. Oh, well. <laughs> Let's build up to force limit. Oh, you guys, I am so derpy. Come on, kill the fleet. Wait, garbage? What are you on? What are you actually on about? Uh, axes? I don't... Ah, uh, sure. Hmm... Oh, yeah, right, the battle is still ongoing. Wait, is that a heavy or something? Oh, it's a heavy. Just great. I didn't even see it was a heavy. Come on, English. Hello. We could have won the fight or not, depending on the... Oh, man. I am just not interested in fleets. I always... I got seven towers on in this game and I will never learn fleets. Sorry. I just despise the need of fleets in this game. I'm just stupid. Aren't you supposed to colonize lots of those great parts? <laughs> Been talking about Imperator? Ah, that's a tribal you can pack up and actually go occupy those.
Oh, come on, they didn't even ask for anything. Really? I'm a derp, am I? Totally forgot. Wait, what, wasn't it the Scots? Wait! No way, you were resieging that! Ah, oh, you derp AI! He was resieging that and then he goes like, Nope! We're a fracking derp game. They do, the French. I should that. We're gonna become involved. After five years, we get to 100% no matter what, so let the fines do whatever. And the Livonian Order and everybody else. I don't see them naval invading. Never understood this. If a nation, there is something really wonky with uh, what noble from what dynasty pops up in a nation who has unions while having other dynasty nations on the map. Normally, this shouldn't be von Mittelsbank. It shouldn't be. Maybe as long as there is another von Mittelsbank nation on the map, then the royal marriage partner need to be bigger. Then that dynasty partner before the uh, they actually can spread their dynasty. I've seen this one before. Never figured it out why it ha why it happens. It should be a different dynasty here. I was actually chatting if my dynasty would be spreading, but it stays in one fund with back no matter what, which is so weird. It should be the biggest royal marriage partner that is spreading dynasty in a case like this. I don't know if it's a bug or not. Don't ask me. Yeah, I'm I'm a bit dumbfounded. As it's only in the last patches that I see this behavior. I don't understand it. Pum, 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 pum. 
Isn't it on prestige? No, man. It hasn't been prestige since, since point two or something. It was it. I don't know. If you think it's prestige, you rightly read a translated guide. My translated guide from start. But chat. Console tested my theories and constantly proved them wrong, and I had to rewrite my guide several times in order to uh, adapt to what the console testers figured out. So no, it's actually highest effective development royal marriage partner that spreads dynasty. So if you go effective development basically means uh, if you got ten development province and if it's fifty autonomy, it's only five effective development. Highest one spreads. In a case where Denmark has a union over Sweden, and if there's still a von Mittelsbach nation around, it seems to be staying von Mittelsbach, which is just weird. Goes against my own bloody guide. But hey, what can I say? Pum 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 pum. Wasn't awfully, awfully actually. No, never mind. Is that Munster or Munster? I I keep confusing the two. It is actually this one, isn't it? Hmm. I should be bigger than Tyrone. So, uh... Oh, Neil, I... Eh. We could go fish. <laughs> Why not? We got six development Ulster only. What does Ulster even have? Eight. Don't. That is not worth it. We can even spread our dynasty until we develop or uh, defeat Scotland. But if the situation stays like that, I might actually marry into this. But for now, let's go. Is there anybody else that I told you about? Apart from the stupid Irish. No, I could steal my. Do I play Vicky too? I tried it at the start, but it was way too buggy. As you all know, Vicky started uh, just way too buggy, and they, they, they actually required community patches to uh, make it playable, but I didn't wait for that. And I was also busy with massive multiplayer online role-playing games back in the day, so, uh, nope. Just never delved into it. Never did it. Come on, you ax they oh. You derp AI. He actually abandoned the siege at twenty or thirty-five. Derps <sighs> What can I say? Oh yeah, great. So the two towns are gonna get smacked. Do it. I have two ducats for plague victims. They're gonna learn it soon unless Imperator is very good. Uh, Marco, did you apply for a pre-release key? If not, do it. <laughs> you might still have time if you uh, contact Troy Goodfellow. <laughs> but it might be too late. Pre-release for Imperator starts on the 18th. And you would likely get it for free. But yeah, you likely already applied, right? You did it, I am waiting. Hmm. Okay. It's kinda weird. 
Normally they uh, answer sooner than that. Well, Vicky too, if you go for those player uh, patches that actually fix up stuff, it's really good. I've seen uh, Dwight play it a lot. What is his name again? That, that's like the only guy I ever see streaming uh, Vicky. Uh, Dwightlicious. I think it is. I'll type it in chat if you want to go check him out. There. He actually... Uh, he actually plays it a lot. But I don't know if he's any good at it. <laughs> I know half of the time I don't understand what he's doing. Anyways, uh So even with a diplomatic reputation guy, we wouldn't be able to marry Castile. Well, maybe we could do it if we build some more army or whatnot. Did we restart? Yeah, we fucked up against England, man. I was just not focused on my war. <laughs> and they occupied my capital a month, right? A month before I was gonna kick him off. And then in the defensive fight, we had an eight, sh eight shock roll in our face, and we lost the battle against the English also. And then I was like, okay, fine. See you later. Hmm... France, Castile. Yeah, we're at war with France, you derp. Ah, mm. oh, that won't work. So, I don't know. Probably, uh, Probably be getting a claim on you also. Oh, let's hope the Danes don't. F oh, come on! How bad can you be, AI? What is the Dane even doing? <laughs> you would expect the Danes to have it, but nah. -uh. What's them actually abandoning me in this war? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. You just have to be kidding me, man. Ah, well. I don't think there's anything France would actually accept here. Eh, let's piece all those other guys out. Because they're, uh, smashing my ally into bits. Oh, come on. might actually naval invade me now. <laughs> um, should be wary of that and not play at speed 5 now. Well, does France even have uh, boats left? He might not. Oh, oops. One transport. Okay. See you later, alligator. many relations, otherwise they would have married me again. We are at force limit and I don't see anything we could be doing, so... Whatever. Hmm. Awfully, awfully is still, uh, airless. Hmm. Awfully gets inherited by Burgundy! Okay. 
Okay. Yeah, uh, marrying them has no point. Burgundy will actually inherit a random Irish. That would be a nice screen, uh, screenshot if that happens. <laughs> Burgundy inheriting a landlocked Irish. Then I've seen it all. Might actually happen. I don't want to see it happen. Ah, oh, well. Think. Hmm. Temporary alliance with England might also not be a too bad idea. Hey, France! Denmark accepted peace. Okay. Oh, fine, good night then. Oh, my mom is actually saying that she likes the Efteling more than Disneyland in Paris. What? I gotta go to Disneyland in the summer, hence why she's talking to me about it. She's saying that the Dutch theme park, the Efteling, is actually a lot better. It's a lot more hip and it's a lot more fun. There's two long rows in the uh, Disneyland and no fun uh, places to drink something. Okay, I'll definitely talk about it. The ringtone is hella old school. It is an old Nokia brick, Magnamoo. <laughs> I don't own a smartphone. The thing I'm using is actually close to uh, 20 years old, I bet. What can I say, man? I'm old school. So, yeah. I don't think the English will actually marry us or whatnot. Well, the English... Oh, they were airless. Nope. Oh. So, right, uh, awfully, awfully, <laughs> inherited by Burgundy. You're right, yep, bye-bye, see you, King, have fun in your stream. Wait, Holland is independent? Oh, and Ormond, wait a minute, that's also an iris. Ormond. Hi, Ormond. Ooh. Ooh, okay, let's improve it, you. What border... the border gore is... It's all connected! Come on! Uh, Isle starts out as a uh, Highlander culture. And by the way, chat in a fast scrolling chat like this, could you please tag me if you're talking to me? Uh... See you later. So... Oh, no, it's too... Ah, Burgundy. Just no way, I'll say. Scotland. Okay, and Scotland has is being abandoned. So, is anybody rivaling the Scots now? Why does Scotland never get any rivals? No. Talk 
talk. Oh, come on, I'm your dad. That's very childless of Mark. You should be glad the Mots aren't kicking your ass. This is so dangerous because we might actually fall in a union under Denmark if we do that. So we should probably be uh, fabricating on something like... I don't know, is there any... Eh. Wait a minute, I do have a claim on those suckers. And I'm just a derp. I can't even declare a fracking war because we're at minus three. Ah, uh, well, I, I really want to disinherit that guy, but I, we have no war to declare apart from uh, England. Mm, ah, I don't want to see that 3 2 1 on the throne. Ah, uh, the 2 3 1. 49, we... Oh, we could wait. Uh, now, well, let's make all these guys into... Uh, into interesting nations. I might actually go mess around in, Engl in, uh, in England. In Ireland in this one. State rebels? Yeah, I was contemplating on it. It would actually turn the uh, Scottish separatists also into... Uh, but I don't know, man. <sighs> it would siege up the capital, probably. Hmm... If I do this, I'm. Con I got two choices here. Either we take it slow and we actually collapse to a state rebel, like Chad is suggesting, to reset our stability. Or we go to war and disinherit our heir. If we would get a union, then we cannot fall into a union anymore, though. So, awfully, awfully, might actually uh, work out. So, maybe just wait a little. Who is the most protected guy in here? Leanster, eh? Where is Leanster again? There. Sure. Worthless traditions, but pretty good ideas. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. The, uh, the Highlander culture is pretty decent one. You get the Wallace from Morale of Armies, Attrition, Siege Ability, which is really great. Religious Unity is not too bad. Shock Damage, which is just insane. But it comes a little bit late to be of any use. Manpower and Prestige. Only, uh, yeah, we're fertile because we're Highlanders, obviously, and, and we have garrison size because, yeah, we like to throw all those, uh, God knows what at the English when they invade. Uh, I, I'm still a bit unsure how to proceed here. We could take it slow and try get some allies or just... Eh. Did we actually set everybody to friendly here? Totally forgot already. Eh. Eh, yeah, well... What's the difference between Highlanders and the normal Scots? The normal Scots historically lived uh, down here. Lodian, Ayrshire and Aberdeen. And uh, the Highlanders are the remainder of the uh, Middle Age... Uh, Middle Age uh, Celts, basically. 
basically these guys are our Celts and these guys are uh, invaders from Ma. Uh... Now oh, wait a minute. Think. Basically it's two different cultures. Highlander and Scottish. I think in the game they're actually uh, in different culture groups as well, right? Yeah, so basically uh, the Highlanders are Celts and these guys are like the uh, invaders, so to speak. The Celts basically got kicked back in the Middle Ages, right? By the Saxon invaders from uh, over here. Or something. <laughs> what can I say? Hmm, local unrest, eh? Well, that would help. We could also uh, let the Hussites, like, uh, and just not use the estate rebels. But we would be unable to uh, disinherit our heir. I really want to dishonor, dishonor that heir. Or we could just declare the war and then just sit on it, right? Because I really don't want that crappy heir. I really don't want him. Okay, awfully, awfully. It was awfully, right? No, Ormond. Now, awfully was going to be inherited by, by Burgundy. Yeah. And, uh, who was it? Ormond, right? Ormond. There's Ormond. The moment we get a union over this guy, is he's in the tier for direct union. Yep, he still is. And we would likely get it now. Uh-huh. PU mechanic at work, folks. France broke up with Provence. Okay. Hey, you love us? Wanna be in my pants, France? No? Okay. Oh. Right. Uh, so, Burgundy, France, Castile. How was the situation over here? Eh. Ah, mm. oh, come on. An infertile ruler. <sighs> so if they would integrate Nevers, can I actually do it? Ah, close. Let's go on though. Seems. Oh, come on. No, not a tier shift. Damn you. Tier shift might actually make it so that Armand does not get a uh, direct union anymore. Oh, come on. <laughs> no. Come on. I was going to get a free union. Damn you. Uh, personal union mechanic. Damn you. Can I ally any of these stupid guys in, uh... Yeah, we could... Ally Ormond, maybe. Hmm, and then just start kicking some Irish. Hmm. But, yeah. This will never fire. So either we use the uh, good old uh, estate, or we just do it manually. How much would it cost me to go up manually? Ah, it's way too much. It is tempting to do it the slow way, but we got tech 4 now, and these guys are all tech 3. If I manage to get an ally, we might start a rampage in here. I, I just... Ireland is way too fragmented these days. Who was it that I did a marriage with? Ormond, right? Oh. Stupid. Sherrod Butler. Hmm. 
They don't even want to ally me, those suckers. Is there anybody who would? Nope. Really no? Can I not get a, an outpost in Ireland to kick some ass? No, they might flip friendly. I'll just take the risk. Come on, Norman. Flip friendly, damn it. I would ship my troops in there. How much force limit do we have now, by the way? Eight. Okay. Awfully, awfully might still get in the in the Oh, and now this shifted from inheritance due to the tier shift because the Pope shifted. The tier shift actually made it from inheritance on Burgundy into personal union. If you don't know what I'm talking about, oh well. Uh, I don't even remember the command from my stupid guide. So sorry. Is it a rem guide? Remember. You guide then? I don't remember any <laughs> anyone remember what the guy. Ah, there we go. There it is all explained how it works and what I'm on about. Hmm ah, it's still so bloody tempting to flip to uh sides here. Ligo and Scotland, okay. Alone is gonna be the next one who's gonna flip into English. Hands. Just done it. Hmm. He'll just never do it. They need to flip friendly for it. Oh shoot, I'm a derp. Ah, but the Hussites, they will never spawn, will they? Yeah. Maybe if I hadn't done the ass. Uh... Can you lower the autonomy on the heretics? I sincerely doubt it. Because it's both our cores. Well, I could still collapse to uh, rebels, I guess, but... I don't know, chat. It might be best... Ah, well, you know what, let's just do it. If I do it over here and then revoke it... It might work. Really big. It might, but it might. I don't know. I should so do a roar and disinherit my heir. I don't want that three, two, three, one. It's like, meh. Well, at least he's fast, this derp. At least he's fast. I don't see any easy wars, though. This guy is allied. I, I could just declare on him. But the problem is we don't have an outpost. And uh, these guys will not... Oh, come on, Armand. 
I would start the war from over there. While the rebels are uh, ravaging the nation. I'm like, nope. Oh yeah, Magnemo, but yeah, it's correct, you're not wrong, but the problem is I can't just, Ulster constantly rivals me, so unless he's actually, ah, oh, wait a minute, he might actually let me through if he sees Turconnell as a vassal, uh, he, he does see Sligo as a rival, so I don't know, in a situation like that, if, if he would give me the access. Uh, he does not have the navy to do that. <laughs> I never build fleets. On, on very hard mode, I don't know. Most of these guys have like a fleet of 20 ships. No heavies though, but... Uh, me and heavies. Psh. Psh. I say. We don't even have the sailors. When can we revoke these jokers? I mean, these jokers. Uh, 21 of August. Okay. Seems. Draft ships? No. I'm pretty sure you need 10 uh, provinces for that. I'm pretty sure you need 10 ports for that. Uh, yeah, you need home ports of at least 10. So 10 ports connected to the capital. So if you start on Brunei, for example, you cannot even do it. Because you don't have 10 home ports, even though you're a naval nation. What can I say? It's just stupid like that. Oh, come on, Armand. Oh, look at that. This is on. Should be starting to move these guys. Uh, east. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'll give it one tick. The, oh, it's that one. Wait, what? I had asked it on the wrong guy, didn't I? <laughs> I thought this was the ally I was gonna get. No, oh, I'm a dip. What? You were just about to accept that, you derp! Oh, come on! Why did it change from 40-40 to 37-44? What the hell, game? Oh, that's just great. That, that's just great. <laughs> what happened here? I was gonna start the war from over here, and now all of a sudden they're like, Eh. Eh. Damn you. Oh, 
YouTube just doesn't love me. <laughs> Better Navy. They were at 40-40, and all of a sudden, they go to 37-44. So what happened? <sighs> just bloody great. Ah, you know what? I'm just gonna call it. I didn't even watch my bloody rebels there. I'm just gonna call it, Chad. I'm getting annoyed at the game. We will continue it. And that didn't happen. That's simply because I'm speed fiving and getting annoyed. Damn you, game. Oh well, I'm gonna be making some dinner. And we hopefully will invade Ireland tomorrow and trigger some estate rebels, which I was about to do instead of these two Gaelic ones. Hope you folks enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, and uh, who can we host or do whatever? Eh, not too many guys, is there? Yeah, well. Annoyed with EU4, that is new to me. I know, I'm annoyed with my own, uh, I'm annoyed with my own carelessness here. That's why. Normally, I, I was gonna trigger the rebels and then I forget and then I watch it here and we see 40-40 and then all of a sudden it changes to 30-70-44 for no fucking reason. Messing up my entire war plan over here, so yeah. What can I say? See you folks later. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, we'll be continuing it tomorrow, I guess. Bye bye. I have played so much Rome, I don't care about EU4. Yeah, man, oh, come on, I shouldn't even be coming, commenting on that. See you folks later.